In this video, I will show you guys how to find the amplitude, the period, the vertical shift, and also the phase shift for a sine function. And more importantly, I will compare and contrast these two equations here, and I'll point out all the details that you have to remember. Let's focus on this one right here. So let's go ahead and identify the amplitude. This is just going to be the absolute value of the coefficient of the sine. So as we can see, we have a positive 3 right here. Remember, for the amplitude, you always take the absolute value. So absolute value of a positive 3, we still end up with positive 3. So this is it, all right? Well, what if we had a negative 3 right here? For the amplitude, remember, we have to take the absolute value for that. In this case here, the amplitude is still going to be positive 3, all right? So remember, the amplitude, the answer to the amplitude, it's always going to be a positive answer, OK? Positive answer, regardless to the sign, either plus or minus that they have in between, all right? Next, we are going to find the period. And we have to know the formula, right? So let me just put on p for the period. This is going to be 2 pi. It's always 2 pi on the top. And you divide it by the b value. So what is b? b is just the number in front of the x. In our case, it is positive 2. So this is just going to be 2 pi over 2. This 2 right here, OK? And of course, you can see that 2 and 2 cancel. So altogether, we just end up with pi. So for this one, the period is just pi. And in this case here, because the b value is the same, so the period right here is also just going to be 2 pi over 2 right here. So it's still going to be just pi, right? So we have pi right here as well, like that. OK, next, vertical shift. In our case here, the vertical shift is the number all the way in the front, right, in this form. So this right here, it's all the way in the front. It's not about the sign, right? Here we have negative 1. The negative 1 tells us we are going to move the original 1 down below. So this is how you're going to answer it. Uh, the vertical shift, you're going to tell me, not just put, don't just put on negative 1. We need to know the direction. This negative 1 right here tells us it's 1 unit down below. So 1 unit down. So you can just say 1 unit down or 1 down, something like that. This is good enough, right? So do not just put down negative 1. Be sure, just put on the absolute value of whatever that number is and tell me the direction. OK, for this one, vertical shift, if this is the equation, if that was a positive 1, OK, how many units we're going to move? It's still going to be 1 unit, right? So we still put on 1. This time, this was a positive 1, right? So that will tell me it will go up. It will go up 1 unit. So that's the difference. At the end, phase shift. So the phase shift is something that we have to talk about inside, right? And let me just write that down right here. Here's the general form. C plus A times sine of parentheses, B times the parentheses, X plus D, OK? And you see, in order for you to figure out the phase shift, you have to do something with the inside, factor things out. And let me show you how to do it right here. So let me just copy that down again. Y equals to negative 1 plus 3 times sine of 2x minus pi like this. What we want is, OK, everything else okay, stays the same. Negative 1 plus 3 times sine. Well, inside, we have to make this equal to b being factored out, and then parentheses and x plus d. And the idea is that we need to look at what number is being directly added or directly subtracted to the x. This right here, 2x minus pi. The pi is not directly being subtracted from the x, because by the order of operation, you have to do 2 times x first and then minus pi, right? So anyways, we are going to factor things out, factor the 2 out. So let me just put down the 2 all the way in the front first like this. And then I will open the parentheses like this. And now this is how you can think about it. Originally, we had 2x. I factored the out 2. So now we have an x left right here, right? And you can also think about this as 2x divided by 2, you get x. Next, minus stays the same because we factor our positive value here. So we still have minus. 
Here, we have originally pi, but then we factor the other two. Just think about it, divided by 2. Pi divided by 2 that goes inside, which is just going to be pi over 2, like that. Pi over 2, like that. Well, you can also always do a quick check. 2 times x is 2x, 2 times negative pi over 2, the 2 will cancel, and you end up with negative pi. That means you factor the right. This right here will tell you the d value, and it will tell you the phase shift, alright? But let me just now write this down, that's like the d value, because this right here, you see, original formula is plus d, this right here is minus pi over 2. But this is the default you all just want to point it out right here. Okay, for the phase shift, it's similar to the vertical shift. You're going to, you're going to tell me however many distance we're going to move, all right? It is going to be pi over 2, regardless to the direction at the moment. The value wise is just going to be pi over 2. Next, you identify the direction. The phase shift is going to be you know, left or right because you are adding or subtracting directly toward the x. Here is the tricky part. When you are directly subtracting pi over 2 to the x, subtracting pi over 2 to the x, you are actually going to move toward the right. So it's the opposite of what you see, right? Because normally you associate negative being you know, to the left and then positive toward the right. But no, when you have this in the parentheses, when you have this in the parentheses, it's the opposite. When you see negative pi over 2, it's actually moving to the right, all right? Okay, on the other hand, when you have 2x plus pi, you know the comparison already. I just changed the signs, right? But anyways, let me put that down right here. That will be y equals to 1 minus 3 times sine. And let me factor out this 2 right here for you guys already. So I put down 2. And then it will be very similar to that, which is x plus pi over 2, like this. Okay? I'm not going to tell you what the d value is, because that's tricky. You just have to tell me however many units that you are going to move, right? So it will be, once again, pi over 2. But this time, when you are adding directly to the x, it is moving to the left. So pi over 2 toward the the left. Earlier it was pi over 2 toward the right. So be sure you study and remember all this detail and that will be wonderful. That's it.